Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I have a really good video for you today where I'm going to be going over how to trade a range. Right now we are seeing altcoins on a higher term time frame within a range and obviously Bitcoin right now is, is absolutely in a, in a full on range for the past two weeks. Uh, 30 second recap of Bitcoin, obviously it rejected off the value area high, came down to the value area low. As you all know I took a long off that value area low, we got our bounce and it rejected off of the value area high. Obviously, this was for me a major take profit too at that moment in time, as well as into a head short position. We obviously got the pullback to the PDPOC, and we were looking at this scenario yesterday of if we cannot reclaim that CC, you know, this is clearly the resistance that we're at right now. And as we can see, we test, 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 unable to break through and we actually see another move down here to the value area low. So you can see there we have three key levels, the value area high, the value area low and the point of control of the range and that was the high of the range, low of the range and then the high of the, you know, the, high of the bounce retest of the CC back down to the value area low. I actually want to today focus on Ethereum on the higher term time frame with the same sort of theory that we're using here to trade Bitcoin, but on a much higher time frame. Okay, so we're looking here at, let's look at the daily chart here on Ethereum. It's been range bound for a very, very, very long time, over a year. Uh, in To be precise, 387 days now, we are basically totally range bound on Ethereum. Okay, so there's three levels that we really want to pay attention to. Within this range, we can obviously start to look at the volume and this is how the range starts to come about obviously this is a you know focusing on the education as I always do in my videos okay so when we actually add on these three levels the value area high of the overall range the point of control of the overall range and the value area low of the overall range this is how we can start to really formulate plans and swing trade ideas okay or just the simple case of remaining patient Okay, I just want to bring your attention to a video. I literally made this video. This was back on the 18th. Okay, so just over one week ago it was a contenders live stream when, as you can see here, this was the value area pool that I actually done of the fixed range, marking out the exact level of the value area high point of control and value area low. So you can see this is where I got these levels from. And my thought process during this contender stream is the most highest probability is that Ethereum is going to go lower here. Why? Because we have simply rejected off the value area high. We have then lost the point of control and we are back testing the point control as resistance. So the highest probability is that Ethereum is going to go lower. There is no trading set up here and we must be patient to wait for lower or of course the reclaim. With the reclaim, as we can see here, when we look at the updated chart, never came. If we come down here on a lower term time frame, you can see there really was absolutely no reclaim of the level. And when you start to pull also like after the rejection, we can start to pull our Fibonacci levels and we can see after losing that market structure, retest point of control rejection, retest point of control rejection, full on continued bearish market structure. You got your final rally. Have a guess what you rallied into, ladies and gentlemen. You rallied into that CC and then you saw the really big move to the downside coming in today. Very similar scenario to, to Bitcoin. As we all know, Bitcoin tested the point of control, retested the CC drop, you know, just to highlight that once more. This was the rally off the value area low, retested the CC drop, Ethereum, Re, you know, lost the point of control, retested the point of control, retested the CC drop. So the assets are moving really similarly and you can see how we can keep this really simple. Looking at the value areas with the CC Fibonacci level that we've got here and, you know, it's, it's, it's following as one would expect in terms of high probabilities. Of course, there's something to bear in mind, okay, when we are looking at this on, on more of a swing trader's perspective. You have to think to yourself, okay, let's say that you longed the value area low down here also ended obviously in a swing failure pattern into the value area low. let's say you longed this value area low and you are then bullish on ethereum it breaks through the point of control and comes up to the value area high let's say you are overall in a long position here You've hit a take profit one off the point of control, a hit take profit two, let's say, off of the last swing failure pattern. You can see here it done a swing failure pattern of the prior high. So you swing failure pattern the high just as you swing failure pattern the value area low down here. Okay, you've taken this all the way up to take profit one, then a take profit two. What are you thinking to yourself at this moment in time before the drop? Okay, so before the drop, you have a few options. Your option could be now into a hedged 
hedged short position. That doesn't mean close out all of your long, but it does mean you know enter a short position for a hedge. Why? Because you're at the value area low. What you wouldn't be doing up here is looking, you know, you know, you could expect, for example, a break of the range and push up. You might like that to occur, but at the end of the day, it would be very silly, wouldn't it, to long into the value area high. Why? Because this is your really clear resistance. Okay, it's the same, for example, on any asset, Bitcoin, any asset, and every single altcoin. When something's at resistance, you're not you're not looking for these longs. Just as when something's at support, you're not looking for shorts. Or I, I would hope, okay, because you need to get into your good areas of value, okay, and, and good areas of value. Obviously, shorts at the higher the range, longs at the lower the range. Okay, then when it comes into, let's say you shorted then the point of control, you then instantly lose, you, you've shorted the value area high, sorry, you lose the point of control, you retest, you retest, you retest, you get another move to the downside, taking the low, continued bearish market structure, retest the CC, down once more. You know, this is, these are scenarios that one has to think is the highest probability. So you're not going to be really be looking for a long after you've just lost and retested the point of control, are you? Okay, you have to think like really high probabilities. Your next highest probability long would have been off the value area low, which of course today has just gone absolutely straight through. There was no support found. And this is the advantage of waiting for the reaction. If you had preset a long at the value area low, you instantly lose your trade. Yeah, and this is why I never preset. Also, there was the confluence, of course, here is not high. Yeah, it's just the value area low at the end of the day. But there, there was no confluence here. I wouldn't have preset. And also the fact that you just go straight through the level. You know, if you're preset there with a long, you instantly hit your limit order and you're instantly underwater. Whereas if you have an alert on the level and you see price just go straight through, then you never take the trade. And that is what is advantageous of waiting for the reaction. Okay, you can make an informed decision once you've hit that level. I mean, you know, we're here I'm going to look at XO, but you know, obviously with Bitcoin as the example. Okay, you can start to look at your divergences, start to look at the open interest, start to look at the volume. Here you can see there was, um, you know, there's no, there's no reason to think to yourself, oh my god, like I, I really instantly need to get into a trade, especially if you go straight through the level. Like this is just an educational video that I'm, I'm bringing you here. So to make this really clear, because I don't want to, you know, I don't want anyone confused, I would not preset at the value area low, okay? I would have an alert set, and then when the alert goes off, come over to the order flow software to try and make an informed decision of, okay, are, you know, what, 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 what volume is coming in here? What's the open interest like? How, what's the CVD like? How much, you know, you know, actual interest is there of defending this level? And then from that, it's it's more of an informed decision. Of course, that doesn't guarantee a 100% win rate, but it, it does it does increase the probabilities because it refrain, you know, you stop taking poor trades trades. Um, so yeah, that would be like my tip of, of trading this range. And then you can, now we could say, okay, so Ethereum has lost this value area low. We obviously do need to look at Ethereum USD, which is retesting its value area low, by the way. But here on the on the, on the the BTC pair, we could say that this is at the moment in a bit of no man's land, isn't it? Okay, we don't really have major support at the moment. And it's kind of, the support is lower down, the resistance is above us. So there's one or two things we could do here. One would be remain patient, not in a trade, wait for a push up and a reclaim back into value area low. Then obviously that gives a long setup or alternatively wait for lower. That for me personally would be my preferred scenario here on Ethereum. Okay? Okay, it really would be, I, I would remain patient. I, I would feel as if, hey, I can remain, I have a plan in place for a potential long setup. Okay, I'm, I'm not interested in shorts here on Ethereum, definitely. But, um, <laughs> you know, I wouldn't be looking to short it. So the only thing I'm thinking to myself is there's either no trade, e.g. remain patient, or long right now. And for me, the long right now is, is not acceptable. Could the bottom be in right here? And, um, you know, Ethereum does come up and reclaim that? Absolutely, it could be. This is trading. It's a game of probabilities. But for me, I'm more than happy to miss the absolute low on ETH. Why? Because I don't have a high probability trading setup. For that, I need several factors of confluence. Okay. So, um, yeah, this was just, how long have I been speaking? Yeah, no, under, under 10 minutes. It was just a really quick video to highlight the importance of the value area high, value area low, and the point of control within a range, looking for reactions, looking, you know, waiting for alerts, remaining patient, recognizing what is the highest probability within this range. I actually posted this over in the altcoin TA a little bit earlier. You know, the, as mentioned in the altcoin stream when talking about Ethereum, the highest probability was more downside. And today we finally see the bigger drop, which also, as we know, Ethereum leads the altcoin market, has also dragged down the rest of the market. I suppose while I'm talking about it, we do have a bit of time. We can, we can take a quick look at if, um, Tezos. As you all know, Tezos, I was long on. and But th things to remember, I was long on Tezos, okay? And I was calling for higher prices. But you have what you have to remember is my long was from here at support. 
and we saw you know a 40 percent rise to the upside okay so this is the same sort of theory yes i was bullish on tezos and what you have to remember is i made this trade and was 40 percent in profits there was no way i was looking for longs up here why because we're, lo we're looking into resistance at that moment in time. Now, we were at daily level of resistance. So it's just like something to really remember. Like, don't trade off a title of a video. Don't trade off of the thumbnail of the video. Listen to what I actually say in the video. You've got to really listen to what I actually say because it's very silly to just trade off of a thumbnail or a title. Um, yeah, because they, they, they are designed to attract attention at the end of the day. And the, the content is what you need to listen to. And it's the same sort of theory. My trade here was off of a higher term time frame swing trade plan. I did get in at, at, at pretty much the low of the move. And then it's, you know, in 40% profits. Okay. You have to think to yourself, it's never a good time to long into resistance. You've got to remain patient on these moves. Again, the highest probability of what's likely to occur next. Okay. The same goes for Ethereum, retesting, point of controls. Of course, what's that going to lead to? The highest probability is for more downside. It requires patience. Okay, if you start to see reclaims of level, you can adjust your bias, so to speak, of your bias could be, I think price is going to go lower. But if you start to see reclaims, you can adjust that bias and say, hey, I no longer think price is going to go lower. You know, we're actually looking for now signs of strength and moves to the upside. Okay, so I hope that you have enjoyed this really quick video. Um, you know, I've given you some insights of what we're, what I'm looking for, on, you know, on a daily basis, of course. I've kept this very sweet, simple for you. But if you do want to learn more about the strategies that we trade with, and obviously we have over on the website the whole vault of cheat sheets. We have the glossary so you can learn everything. And obviously the main thing, the, the video updates. Um, two live streams a day from George. He's got a short version and the long version of his daily updates. So there's so many live streams to keep you updated on the price action that's happening right now. That's for the champions. And obviously for the contenders and champions, we got the um, whole... Uh, educational content so you can learn about the ranges you can learn about the order flow you can learn about your harmonics your fibonacci your cc retracements everything to do that we that i am using on a daily basis you can absolutely learn everything from the website okay um so that if that's of interest to you that's obviously chartchampions.com again i'll remind you of the um of the stream schedule that we got here, the next two contenders live streams are going to be educating you about accumulation patterns. If that's of interest and you want to learn about accumulation patterns, that's going to be what I'm covering in the next webinars. So yeah, uh, on Sunday, I've got the Champions live stream. That's going to be going over my Elliott Wave count as well. If you're interested in my Elliott Wave count on Bitcoin, that's what I'll cover on Sunday's Champions live stream. And that's it for this video. I hope that you've thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, I hope I've given you some insights, things to look for. Kept it sweet and simple. If you want to see more, come over to the website. So thank you once again, everybody. Hope you have a brilliant day. And um, yeah, cheers from myself and everybody in the team at Chart Champions. Have a good day and stay safe trading. Thank you and goodbye.